bring everything but the hog out. Think we eat nothing but grass, what you talking about? I'm about to jump into the whip and hit the whole foods early. Get everything to get that soul food working. Like mac and cheese, the collard greens, the black eyed peas, and get a roast of that tofu turkey. Got cornbread, even got stuff. Mashed potatoes so good, put your hand in it. Stream beans, and you know we got yams with it. Got I'm actually going to show you a brand new recipe box that I'm going to be doing reviewing on my channel very, very soon. I'll start doing some recipes from it. It's from the Mindful Chef. So just check this. So guys, here it is. This is a plant-based recipe that's actually in the box. You've actually got the fajita beef with spicy quinoa and avocado, the creamy peanut chickpea and okra curry, the pulled barbecue jackfruit and avocado salsa, which is absolutely amazing. They do a lot of great work, guys. They really, really do. So what actually, as you can see, they actually say to you, welcome. We started Mindful Chef to help people live healthier lives and that starts with the ingredients. The fresh product in your box was sourced from of Brit Britain's best suppliers, including our heritage breed meat. Well, we don't, we don't like you? meat in this channel, but you know what I mean? So, we hope you enjoy our healthy meals. So, basically it's all plant-based meals that I've actually got, but what really attracted me to them was the fact that the actual one meal actually feeds for every box that you actually buy. We're proud to be the first and only recipe box pioneering a one-for-one -one charity model. For every meal sold, we donate a school meal to a child living in poverty. Our goal is to deliver one million meals in 2018. Thank you. So, mindful, personal, unaf unafraid. We started Mindful Chef with our friends and families as customers and those are the kind of relationships we want to maintain however big we grow. This is an intrinsic to everything we do. From the healthy recipes we design to the local expert and caring suppliers we select to the way we treat each other, our customers and the environment. So, they've got a lot of good environmental things that they actually stand for, guys. But yeah, you get a little free recipe in it as well, Bird and Blend Tea Co as well. And everything comes obviously insulated box. You've got all your recipes, as you can see, vegan, which is good. We want them to fully go vegan though, guys, don't we? We don't want any meat products, so I'm actually going to be doing the pulled barbecue jackfruit and avocado salad right now. So let's take it up. So guys, here is our ingredients for the recipe. 250 grams of organic young jackfruit tinned in salted water. We've got one diced red bell pepper. We've actually got some coriander leaves which were actually finely chopped. One red onion, finely chopped, and an avocado which is actually, we've diced into little square pieces. We've also as well 0.5 tablespoons of ground cumin, one tablespoon or teaspoon sorry of maple syrup, 0.5 teaspoon of smoked paprika, and I should have said that the ground the ground cumin is 0.5 teaspoon as well, two tablespoons of tomato puree, and also as well chipotle paste, one tablespoon of that and 50 grams of Tilda brown rice which we're actually going to put in boiling water and what we're going to do is we're going to simmer that for 20 to 5 minutes and then drain. Our rice is actually boiling away. We've got our jackfruit there which has already been rinsed. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to make the avocado salsa. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our avocado chunks, put them into a bowl. And what we're actually going to do is add our coriander leaves as well. 
and we've actually got a, a full line here but we're going to use half of that and sprinkle some of like use half of the lime juice in here and this is going to be our avocado salsa so getting all that in there as much as you possibly can <laughs> what we're going to do is a little pinch of salt as well and we're going to give that a good mix up so that's all mixed together and we are also got as well we're going to use a third of the onions as well the third of the, the red onions and the rest will actually be going in to the pan along with the jackfruit that's looking absolutely great guys just giving it a good mix up together so now the rice has been on for roughly 20 minutes which is looking absolutely great so we're going to take that off and then let, let it rinse so now what we're actually going to do is we're going to take some pure sunflower oil and add it to the pan just a few sprays and then we're going to get our red onion and we're going to fry that for around five minutes So what I've actually done now is I've actually added the onion after it's been cooked into a little pot and I'm actually going to put the jackfruit in. You're actually supposed to use a wooden spoon guys so if you can please do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that up ever so slightly and let it cook for about 3 minutes. But if you have got a wooden spoon please use a wooden spoon if you can guys. Much better. Now what we're actually going to do is we're going to add in our red pepper. We're going to add in the tomato puree as well guys. So getting that in there. So what I've actually done guys, I've added in my maple syrup, one tablespoon. I've added in 0.52 table teaspoons of ground cumin and I've also added in 0.5 teaspoon of smoked paprika and 200 ml of boiling water out the kettle and what we're actually going to do is we're going to add all that together and we're going to let it simmer for around 15 minutes and we'll add in some sea salt as well just to give it a little bit of taste as well and as well some black pepper if you can and then mix that all together and then we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes so guys this is it just out the, the pan this is it all served up the jackfruit, the rice and your avocado salad as well so just to garnish it off just with your other half a lime just put some lime over the top and that gives you a great little garnish as well so I hope you guys check this out and do your recipe so guys I hope you liked this little recipe I'll put all the description and ingredients down in the description I should say I hope you really enjoyed this and I would love to see if you do this recipe on your channel tag me in your video please it would mean the world I'll be doing a lot more recipes but remember as always until next time Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings and be kind to every kind. The only difference is your perception. Catch you all soon. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.